Uh, hello everyone, my name is Anastasia. I will be your moderator for today and we have today with us an amazing speaker, Mohamed Hijazi. Mohamed Hijazi is a leading communications consultant, international trainer and digital strategist. Certified from the U.S. Department of State and Google, he consulted for international organizations including the European Union, United Nations, British Council, British Embassies, Leo Barnett and 100 clients across different fields and countries. His expertise includes creating and implementing marketing strategies, business training, uh, his influencer and public in relations, uh, copywriting, translations and project management. His portfolio includes more than 100 events that he led or organized. Uh, Mohammed currently serves as GCI Vice President for Africa and the Middle East and has diverse experience managing other nonprofits. The floor is yours, Mohammed. We are happy to have you here with us. Good morning and good afternoon to uh, everyone joining us today um, from all over the world. Thank you, uh, Anastasia, for your very um, um, welcoming uh, introduction and I'm very happy to be here with you um, today. So today I will be talking about um, online personal branding for entrepreneurs. Uh, I just want to make sure that, okay, you can see my slides. So this is a very important topic because not just for entrepreneurs, but for uh, businessmen and individuals uh, with different uh, missions and visions. It's a very important thing to have a professional uh, appearance online in order to attract uh, customers or um, uh, different types of audiences that we're going to be talking about today. So as you take care of your company's valuation, it is also important to improve your personal valuation as well. So what is your personal valuation or your personal branding? It is the perception of uh, perception or impression of an individual based on their experience, expertise, competencies, actions, or achievements within a community, industry, or marketplace at large. So it's the same as if you are marketing your company or your product. You have to consider yourself as a brand, where you that includes your image, your mission, your vision, and your values. And in many ways, you can portray these aspects um, to, your, to the public offline and online, but today we'll be focusing on things that you can do online. So there are three important keys to successful personal branding, and that's what I'll be going uh, to talk about today in details. The first key is presentability. The second one is credibility. And the third one is connectivity. So starting off with presentability, we're gonna be talking about some tips to look and feel presentable online. The first important step to do is to have a presentable or professional email address and website. So what you can do is invest in a simple one page website, something like yourname.com. Uh, and this usually doesn't cost you a lot of money, around $20 per year, between the domain name and hosting, uh, provided that you don't have a very popular name. And then once you have that, you can create a professional email address that you use everywhere, uh, such as name at startup.com or your initials at name.com, public at name.com or connect at startup.com. And there's a lot of other examples that you can use, but believe me, the number of times I've seen emails such as like Britney Spears one at hotmail.com used for uh, an entrepreneur or professional uh, on their resume or on their LinkedIn is is hilarious. So that is also that is the first thing that people will look at, and it is much recommended that you have a professional uh, email address. It is also very uh, useful to invest in a proper photo shoot to have good photos that you can use. And believe me, once I started uh, having professional photos. It made so many things easier, uh, such as uh, uh, social media photos, requests for interviews, 
um, trainings, many different places where you are asked to have a professional photo. So invest in a proper photo shoot, a studio photo shoot. Have photos um, taken of you at events in a professional way. Uh, showcase your company brand and your photos like you see here. And you can also try and take cool and colorful street photos when you don't want uh, very strict and uh, studio photos for other purposes. Also, you have to set up your professional social media profiles in a way where uh, they look and feel um, professional to reflect uh, your values. So create social media profiles that look presentable on all networks, even if you're not using them for business and make sure that your name appears the same on all of them. Uh, if you have any unprofessional or private content, you can make that uh, private. So in a way, not everyone can see this content except your close friends. And another thing that you can do is you can change your name to a different spelling on a certain social network if you don't want that to be found by the public um, such as maybe your customers or your investors and have separate pages um, for the public. Also make sure to set up your uh, about section well. So that includes the location, uh, where you are, your education, your work experience and other links. Another thing that you can do is to uh, position yourself with a portfolio. So try creating a unique um, position for yourself. That means that you will um, specify specific skills that make you stand out, that you focus on, that people should know you for. And then you can organize your portfolio and experience on sites like LinkedIn or Behance um, in an impressive manner that attracts your audience. And I would recommend Behance for creative um, entrepreneurs, uh, designers, uh, filmmakers, anyone that has a lot of um, visually appealing content to showcase. And finally, in, in this section, um, improve your search engine optimization or SEO. And if you don't know what that is, it is the process of increasing your visibility, the visibility of your name to users on search engines. So when you go on Google and someone types your name, are you showing uh, in the top results or are you not? So first of all, Google yourself to see where you stand. And there's a lot of things that you can learn about SEO that obviously I can't get into right now. But the most important thing is to improve keywords on your website and social platforms to reflect the skills and the attributes that you want to be showcased or attributed uh, to your name. The next key that we're going to be talking about is credibility. So how to become more credible online in your industry and how can people take you more seriously um, when looking up your name? So there's a few things that you can do to increase um, your credibility and starting off with uh, creating a blog. So you can create a free blog and start publishing articles relevant to your industry or your experience, hobbies or lifestyle. Um, you can use uh, free platforms like blogger.com, wordpress.com or medium.com and writing these blogs will increase your credibility as an expert in the field that you are writing in. If you do not have time to fully commit yourself to writing a blog, what you can do is to contribute to online platforms. So uh, you can ask or request popular websites, magazines, and blogs to feature you, uh, especially if they're in your industry. So you can contribute an article or a guest blog about a trendy topic or an op-ed about your domain. And keep in mind, this also will increase your search engine optimization uh, very well. And here you can see just an example of some of my contributions to Entrepreneur Magazine um, throughout the years. Similarly, what you can do is to send press releases and interview requests. So when you have a product launch or launching something new, a new startup, or uh, even if you have an idea that you want to communicate, you can write exciting press releases about these things, such as your activities or launches or new products or services, and send them to the media to be published. It's very important to create a network of uh, media uh, connections, both online and offline, so that you can uh, easily disseminate this information. And another thing that you can do is email or call media outlets, such as magazines, TVs, YouTubers, podcasters, radio, anything that you might think is relevant to your industry. 
and request an interview in a professional manner. And believe me, these types of media, they really need all the content that they can get, especially if they have a show every day, they really run out of content quickly. So if you approach them in a professional manner, they're more likely to accept uh, to, interview, uh, to interview you and promote you. Another point is to become um, a speaker. So like I'm doing right now, you can uh, apply to conferences and events as a speaker to discuss trends in your industry or showcase your knowledge. And this is much, much easier right now during the Zoom era because there's a lot of events happening online. You don't need to travel anywhere. Uh, there's not much cost involved and people really want to showcase good speakers. So try as much as possible to research what's happening online in your industry uh, and uh, try to apply to those or talk to the organizers about it. And if you're not able to get uh, uh, speaking opportunities, what you can do is host your own workshops. So it is increasingly easy to host your own workshops, training programs, or live streams, and to discuss current topics in your industry or things that you are passionate about. So start with a free event to build your audience, and then use Facebook and Instagram Live um, to teach a skill or answer industry questions or communicate with your target audience. And this is very easy to do right uh, these days just from your mobile phone. Another good idea is to write an ebook, and people will think that this is going to be a very time consuming <clears throat> um, endeavor, but really, uh, an ebook doesn't really need to be very long or very time consuming. Uh, so what you can do is write a short ebook sharing your experience on opinions uh, or opinions on a topic relevant to your industry. And as I said, they can be just short guides, or if you have the time for it, you can write a detailed book. And it's very easy to self-publish your ebook on Amazon, where you can actually make some money uh, out of it, or you can provide it for free uh, in the beginning on uh, on your website or even on Amazon to uh, collect leads or connections or also to improve your credibility. The third key that I'm going to be talking about is connectivity. <clears throat> and here's going, there's going to be some tips on how you can make the most of your online connections. So first you have to understand who your target audience is. Who are the people who are reading your content or seeing your posts? And are those the people that you want to attract? So ask yourself, who am I trying to engage with my online interactions? Are they my friends or potential employees or funders and investors or customers? And make sure you create content that adds value to the lives of the people that follow you. So if you're posting funny content all the time and there's not much value of it in terms of business or in relation to your industry or your startup, people will tend to think about you as this funny person, but will not take you ser seriously when it comes to other um, topics uh, maybe increase, that might increase your sales or um, make you look credible for, in your industry. So if you're not able to make a website, uh, what you can do is to centralize your account. So make it easy for people to find you and connect with you on different platforms. Um, you can consol consolidate your accounts on your website, but if you don't have one, you can use um, the service called Linktree to have all your links in one place and use it in your bios or your email signature. Also, try to connect with relevant stakeholders. So grow your network by following experts in your industry, funders, potential customers, or employees. Then introduce yourself and engage with their content. Don't just go to them and message them uh, in a way that you're trying to sell them something, but in a way that you are happy to connect with them and to in engage with them. Also connect with people that you meet in real life in events and conferences uh, and meetings and different places where you meet people and message them uh, about how great it was to meet them and try to talk and have discussions about things that are happening in your industry. It's also very, very important to engage your connections. So even if you have 10,000 or 100,000 people in your network, if you're not engaging with them and you're not gaining um, ex their experience or gaining information from them, then it's not very useful. 
So ask them, uh, ask them how you can help them and if you can help them with anything. So use your experience to improve their lives and as we talked about, to uh, bring value to their lives. Share opportunities to add value. So if you, if you have um, uh, job opportunities or interesting articles that you've read or things that are happening in good conference that you recommend, share it with them. You can also recommend books and videos courses and travel destinations that you like. Um, you can ask questions to start discussions and this is a really good way to build uh, a community and also get new ideas and brainstorm and also to share resources and quotes. And also make sure to produce appealing content. So your, your personal branding is reflected by how good the content that you are posting looks. And it doesn't really need to be that hard. You don't really need to hire a designer to do simple things. Um, so you, can, you have to post content that is well designed and meaningful. And it is proven scientifically that high, higher quality content gets better engagement. And so there's so many tools, apps on your phone or website that you can use to create some um, interesting uh, visuals. One of my favorites to use is Canva. It's mostly free unless you want to upgrade to, to um, a premium account. And you can create uh, interesting visuals such as the one that you see um, that I posted on my Facebook page as one of my favorite quotes. So finally, I want you to uh, keep these three keys in mind. Remember them when you're trying to build your online personal brand. The, these are, the first key is presentability, the second key is credibility, and the third key is connectivity. Make sure that you have, um, uh, you are trying to cover all of these aspects uh, in different ways in order to be uh, as successful online. So thank you very much for um, listening to my uh, presentation, my short masterclass. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can also connect with me. This is my link tree um, link where you can find all the um, places you can, you can connect with me and also my email if you have any questions or we'd like to collaborate on anything. Mohammed, thank you so much for an impressive presentation. That was uh, really great because you have covered so many topics in such a short time. Uh, really impressive. Uh, there is a question. If you published uh, in, any book yourself, and if yes, uh, how successful it was uh, and how much time did you spend in order to make it? I actually personally have not published an ebook. I have contributed to uh, a textbook, university textbook uh, entitled uh, Contemporary Management by McGraw-Hill. And that took definitely much more time because it had to be reviewed a lot to, to be the standards of one of the biggest publishing companies in the world and universities all around the Middle East. So I've experienced in that. I'm actually currently working on writing a, a short ebook about um, how to use social media to uh, improve your life. So hopefully within the next six months, I'll have something uh, up like that. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, you have also mentioned that someone can use social media. Um, and uh, I, I suppose that you are covering different types of social media. Can you please uh, explore a little bit more just to tell a couple of details? What do you believe in which social media a person can uh, better present himself as a personal brand, let's say? It really depends on your target audience. So there are so many social networks that you can use and there's so many um, different audiences on different networks. So most importantly for businesses, you should have, for businessmen or, star or entrepreneurs or startups, you should have um, a professional LinkedIn profile where that serves not only as your CV, but as your um, credible source uh, of information when it comes to your industry and also showcases your skills. So if someone is searching for uh, a startup to fund or invest in or for a trainer or anything that is related to your field, you uh, are able to show there. But also don't neglect other social platforms. So Facebook is still the most popular social network in the world. And even though the demographics are moving to an older generation on Facebook, it is still useful for your business. Twitter is really important when it comes to uh, 
um, getting news or connecting with experts, with celebrities, um, for politics. So it's also an, an important way to get quick industry news. And then also Instagram uh, is, uh, is good to use because it gets followers much easier because it's more visually appealing. You can showcase your products or your personal lifestyle if you travel a lot or if you are a foodie or have certain hobbies, you can get a bigger audience on there that you can later on um, translate uh, to your business. And there's a new social networks like TikTok right now. You would think it's just for, you know, fun and, and music and singing and, and memes and all of that. But a lot of people are actually using TikTok to expose their brand to more people, either a personal brand or even their startups or even big companies um, are using it to get more customers. So try to always experiment with different social networks, but also don't, if you're just starting right now, don't start with everything. Go one by one so that you're not overwhelmed and try to see which social network is more relevant to the audience that you are trying to attract. Thank you so much, Mohammed. So many insights. That was really great. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you very much. And I would uh, really like to congratulate JCI Russia for a wonderful event. Uh, I just want to say that it's been you know, months in the making and I've seen the amount of work that went into it. So I'm really proud to be part of this event and I'm very happy that um, JCI Russia can be uh, very successful, especially during this uh, pandemic and hard times that the world is going through. So thank you for having me and uh, uh, I hope everyone would enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much, Mohammed. Thank you for your kind words. We really appreciate it.